Wireless News. I'm Martha DeGrasse. I'm joined today by Scott Hoffpower. He is CTO of Broadsoft. Broadsoft has recently licensed a video and HD voice engine from Spirit. That's a Russian company. Scott, can you tell us a little bit about how this is going to fit into your larger UC offering for service providers? Sure. So the, we've licensed the, the Spirit DSP media engine to fit into our uh, broad touch line of products, which is our user experience applications for our unified communication solution. So we'll use the Spirit DSP media engine for audio and video calling capabilities while allowing you to have a client on your uh, desktop, your laptop, your mobile, or your smartphone. And you can use this to uh, interact with your uh, unified communication services and make and receive audio and video calls. How, can you talk a little bit about how this will be compatible or not with OTT competitors, Skype, for example? Yeah, so our, our solution is uh, standard space. So we utilize SIP as our, uh, our protocol for, for call control. So SIP is the de facto standard for VoIP signaling within the industry. And then by utilizing the, the standard space codecs provided by Spirit DSP, we have a, a standard space solution that allows us to work um, with other devices so we can interact, for example, with a, a desk phone or a video room system using standard based uh, protocols. It also allows us to, to interact with other networks. So if you have uh, two networks peering with voice over IP, you can pass audio and video calls. So for example, a high definition call can go from one network operator to another. So interoperability for our solution is extremely important because we want to ensure that we have kind of best of breed devices uh, that we can bring to our service provider customers. So for example, if another company was using Polycom solution, they wouldn't have a problem talking to a company that was using your solution? Exactly. So you could have a Polycom uh, room system, for example. And if it's using the SIP protocol that can interact with our unified communication service, then what in turn could interact with a, a client on your desktop. So you could uh, both call into a video conference, for example. And um, you know, that way we can have room systems or desktop systems along with uh, the, the soft client capabilities that we provide on you know, your desktop, your laptop, your smartphone, or your tablet. Right. And can you talk a little bit about some of the ways that service providers can brand this offering to make it part of what they bring to an enterprise solution? Sure. So what we provide with our broad touch client is the ability for a service provider to, to brand it. So in very simple terms, you can change the color and the, and the logos and the, and the name of the client to match the brand provided by the service provider. So again, you know, we're selling into a service provider who brands the, the unified communication solution and then in turn sells to businesses. So they have full capability to uh, change the user interface to, to match whatever user experience they'd like to provide. And can you talk at all about where we might see some of the first deployments? Well, again, I, we're, we've, uh, we made a major announcement uh, at the end of last year um, with our unified communications offer called UC1. So we've started now selling that out into the market. Um, we haven't made any external, external announcements, but we have many uh, service providers in Europe, um, uh, Asia, as well as North America now using the solution. Okay. I think we hear a lot about HD video, less about HD voice. Can you give us some information about how much of a voice improvement calls experience with HD voice? Well, I think HD voice is one of those things that you have to experience. Um, you know, you can talk about it, but until you actually get on a, a call and, and you hear it firsthand, you really don't appreciate it. And I, I think it's, it's a subtle thing, but um, as you start using it more and more, you begin to appreciate it and, and the fact that it, uh, it's more like sitting next to someone and talking. So it, it sounds real and uh, I think that helps to uh, helps to allow people to communicate more effectively. 
All right, Scott Hoffpower, CTO at Broadsoft, thanks very much for joining us today on RCR Wireless News.